Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British TV moments we quote every day. Jurassic Park. Have you tried turning it off and on again? We're not going to Spain, and that's that. Why not? Because I said so, all right? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the popular phrases first seen on TV that have taken on a life of their own. Let us know in the comments which quotes you use on a daily basis. Number 10. Computer says no. Little Britain. Computer says no. <laughs> We've all struggled to get a computer to carry out a basic function, or any device for that matter. Which is one reason this Little Britain sketch, out of all the others, has lived on for so long. And we've all been on the phone with customer service trying to get them to understand our problem, only to be told they can't help for whatever reason. Computer says no. <laughs> oh. Can I have a word with the manager? Computer says no. In this way, Carol and her catchphrase remain excruciatingly relatable, even if you can't help but want to punch her in the face. Computer says no. <laughs> <coughs> Number 9. You have a woman's hand. Blackadder. In an effort to impress Queenie and avoid being shown up by Sir Walter Riley, Blackadder wants to charter a ship to go on a daring and legendary voyage of his own. In typical fashion, he chooses the absolute worst privateer England has to offer, Captain Redbeard Rum, played by none other than Tom Baker. Ah! You have a woman's hand, my lord! It's Rum who utters this iconic line just as he and Blackadder shake on the deal, much to Blackadder's dismay. When Rum proceeds to keep comparing Blackadder to a woman, it's clear he's made a mistake, but nevertheless, he's stuck now. In a show full of eminently quotable lines, this one is firmly at the top. Oh, you have a woman! <laughs> Number 8. To Me To You Chucklevision Throughout their long and illustrious career in British comedy, the Chuckle Brothers have made generations of kids laugh during both their time on the comedy circuits and on CBBC. To me, swing it round. To me. That's it, to you now. To me. To you. To me. To you. To me. That's it. Their sketches and TV episodes feature their biggest catchphrase, to me to you, when they were moving furniture and large props. They even co-wrote a charity single with Tinchy Strider, to me to you bruv, in 2014, which is as weird as it is funny. To me, to you, to me, to you then. Oh, just stop what that mean to you, to me, to you. Though Barry Chuckles sadly died in 2018, he'll live on forever in this memorable catchphrase. If you've never said to me to you while carrying something heavy with someone else, well, you're lying. Number seven, bus. Uh, well, you know what? The in-betweeners. So how fast does it go then? Who knows? I ain't got it going yet. After a conversation in Simon's car that's about as blue as you'd expect, Jay gets the bright idea to lean out the window and insult a group of people waiting for the bus. Though this doesn't actually mean anything and comes clean out of nowhere, Bus <laughs> has taken on a life of its own outside the show. <laughs> <laughs> if you're driving past a bus stop, you might have shouted it out yourself, while if you get a bus a lot, someone's surely screamed it out at you from a passing car. Though be careful who you decide to repeat this line to. You don't want to end up like Simon later on in the same episode after all. 200 pounds, now! I don't have it. We don't have it! I want 200 pounds! Number six, I'm claustrophobic, Darren. Celebrity Big Brother. I've had enough of playing games. The GC makes history no matter what show she appears in, but her stint on Celebrity Big Brother in 2016 was one of the most memorable in the show's entire history. It's clear from the beginning that Gemma isn't enjoying her time in the house, as she constantly rants in the diary room, has a go at all the other housemates, and thinks that everybody, including the producers, is out to get her. Why didn't you think of putting heated rollers in here? More than once, she threatened to quit, including this iconic outburst where she tells Darren Day she can't stay in the house anymore because she's got claustrophobia. I've got money! I know you have. Listen, Gemma. <laughs> 
Number five, you ain't my mother, EastEnders. I'm leaving. Oh, no. What? Rarely does a scene go by in a soap opera without something absolutely insane happening, and EastEnders is no exception. Kat and Zoe Slater were believed to be sisters up until this shocking revelation, which was easily one of the most gripping cliffhangers in TV history. I ain't going anywhere! Watch me! Kat, leave it. After Zoe decided she was going to Spain with her uncle, Kat followed her out of the pub and revealed that she was, in fact, Zoe's mother, and that Zoe's father is the very same uncle she wants to head off to Spain with. How could a reveal like that not become an iconic part of British pop culture? No, you can't tell me what to do, you ain't my mother! Yes, I am! Number four, have you tried turning it off and on again? The IT crowd. The ailing IT department of Renham Industries will do anything to avoid leaving the comfort of their office and actually fixing a computer, which is why this easy fix is Roy's go-to. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Turning a computer off and on again won't solve every problem, of course, but even years later, it definitely solves a lot of them, which is why this phrase is as timeless today as it was when we first heard it in the show's very first episode. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? It even endured into the awful American pilot and was taken on board by the department's IT illiterate manager, Jen. It's not just an iconic quote, it's legitimate advice. I forgot to turn this thing. Hello, IT. <laughs> Hi, uh, something's wrong with my computer. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Number three, what's occurring? Gavin and Stacey. Damn it, what's occurring? It was always Gavin and Stacey's biggest asset that James Corden and Ruth Jones managed to find the hilarity in the most mundane situations, from Stacey having brunch to the boys talking about oven gloves. But one of the funniest phrases the show ever came up with has to be, what's occurring? Immortalized by Nessa as her way of asking what's going on. He was going to meet her after guides and try and win her back, but we've not heard a peep from him since. Oh, God. Hi, Ness. All right, Stace, what's occurring? You'd be forgiven for thinking she says it every single episode. In reality, it's few and far between, but that hasn't stopped it living on in the years since the show ended. Now, what's occurring is a common phrase you might genuinely get asked. Yeah, what's occurring? Oh, Welsh person. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, no, dear. right, forget that even happened, right. Number two, back of the net, I'm Alan Partridge. One of the country's best comics, Steve Coogan, has been in the business for a long time. But out of all the characters he's played, Alan Partridge stands a cut above the rest, creating one phrase so memorable you might not even realize this is where it came from. Alan's boasting about having a girlfriend who is 14 years younger than him at 33, which, in fairness, he does constantly through Series 2, and compares this to scoring a goal. My girlfriend's 33. I'm 47, she's 14 years younger than me. Back of the net. <laughs> Back of the net is now something people say all the time in the same way when they accomplish something great, and even earlier he says Jurassic Park in the exact same cadence. Alan, I want you back on the telly. Jurassic Park. Number one, am I bothered? The Catherine Tate Show. Am I? Am I bothered? No. <laughs> Catherine Tate seemed to come completely out of nowhere and landed a hit show on the BBC right away, a show that launched the TV careers of Tate and also her co-star, Matt Horn. But it was the characters we remembered the most, from bitter nan to troublesome schoolgirl Lauren Cooper, whose sketches produced a phrase that was the bane of teachers everywhere. Face, I ain't even bothered. Look at my face. Periodic table, look. I ain't even bothered. Look at my face, Lauren. though. You're looking at my face. Face, I look. Bothered. Bore on. Bunsen yeah. burner, I ain't even bothered. I am trying. Sandals. <laughs> Albert Einstein, I ain't even bothered. Stephen what? Hawkins, I ain't bothered. Lauren wasn't bothered in all of her original sketches. She wasn't bothered when she met other stars like Dawn French and David Tennant, and she certainly wasn't bothered when she was invited to meet Tony Blair. Keep your mouth shut or I will feel you in this whole module right now. <laughs> I missed I bother it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.